All right, well everyone, this is Mr. Marr, and this is the final tutorial in this series, um, the Ostinato writing project. So, uh, this one, we're gonna start with a, a planning spreadsheet. I'm just gonna make that full screen here. Um, so, just like with the chord progressions, we've got a bunch of different example uh, cinematic ostinatos. Uh, so this is from a YouTuber here. Um, we watched this in class, took some notes on this. So you're just gonna pick one of these ostinato patterns to use. Um, for mine, I wanna use something that uses all three notes. So I think I'm gonna do low mid, high mid. So I've got my ostinato here, low, middle, high, middle. So I'm gonna apply that to um, one of the chord progressions that I transposed already. So in this case, I'm gonna set that same chord progression that I've been working with, the major one, minor five, major one, major flat three. And I'll do this in A major. There we go. So uh, once you've got that set, you're gonna to wanna to download the chords from the chord folder attached. And I'm just gonna to need to reattach that chord folder. What I'm gonna to do to make this just a little bit easier is I'm just gonna go right into Soundtrap. Not only are they already downloaded, but they're already in this project. So if you do this from your chord progression transpose project, you can make this a little easier. So I've got all three chords right here. I'm just gonna copy these paste them to a new track. I'll need to create a new track first. Uh, so I'll just set that to piano just for uh, make this easy. Click over here, press paste. Now I've got a um, my chords ready to be adjusted into an ostinato. When we were looking at this in class, uh, they mentioned that usually ostinatos work better with shorter sounds. So like a pluck, uh, even a piano could work um, as long as the notes are being played short. If there's some kind of string pluck, that could work. Uh, I'm gonna do a synth pluck because I'm already doing synth sounds. really different I'm gonna I'm gonna use that for my pluck here all right so I've got my sound patch set something short uh, pizzicato strings pluck synth piano bells mount percussion and then I'm gonna go into the piano roll so what's kind of cool is when you're looking at the piano roll it's gonna show you all of the notes uh, all together so this is uh, gonna make voice leading a lot easier that's pretty much what we're doing here so I'm gonna click the grid I'm gonna set this to 1 16th. Um, you know, 16th notes work well for ostinatos. It's a kind of a faster pat pattern, gonna add a lot more emotion to it. Then I'm going to control A, all the notes in my first chord, shrink them down so they're all just, uh, just one, hopefully this is 1 16th. I'll probably need to zoom in a little farther and then I can set them all to 1 16th. Next, you're gonna pick three sequential notes. So just three of these notes um, to use. And you, one's gonna be low, one's high, one is middle. So I kind of like this group right here. I think this is gonna be my low, middle, and high notes. So I'm gonna delete the others. Now I'm going to write my ostinato pattern, which I think I had decided, I might end up picking a new one if I can't remember, oh, I have it selected right here. Low, middle, high, middle. So, uh, my low note is gonna be A. My middle note is gonna be D flat, which is C sharp. And then my high note is gonna be E. So just the chord in root position. So again, my 
Ostinato that I picked, low, middle, high, middle. So I'm gonna program that. Uh, what can be helpful is selecting a note, holding shift and using the arrow keys to move things around. So low, middle, high, middle. I'm gonna copy and paste that, so it's going for the whole bar. Next, you're gonna try to uh, voice lead into the next chord. So find the three notes that are closest to this. So in this case, um, this top note here, E, stays the same. Um, it's still in the chord, so that's gonna work out perfectly. Um, these notes are right next to each other. So though that this could be a really good note to use next instead. And then from here, it's just gonna jump down to this lower note. So that's gonna work out fine. So doing the same thing, just picking those three notes, shrink them down, and recreate that ostinato pattern. Low, middle, high, middle. This is gonna be, uh, in, in this case, uh, since I use the same chord twice, this should be pretty much exactly the same. What you can do though is revoice a chord, uh, and that can be a good idea, um, just to kind of make things interesting. So even though I use the same chord again, I might shift to different notes. So I think in this case, I'm gonna have this lower note stay on the same one and have this note here um, go down instead. So we're gonna do these three notes and I think I'll have my top note move down as well. Yeah, let's do that. So now I've got three new notes that are kind of uh, close to my other notes. My cat's on my vibraphone back there. Low, middle, high, middle. I'm just gonna copy and paste that out. And same thing here, just looking for three notes that are the closest. Looks like kind of at the bottom here. So I'm kind of making this uh, ostinato pattern go down. Same thing, zoom in. Shrink these, set the pattern, copy, paste, and there we go. So now I should have an ostinato that is following my chord progression. Uh, I'm gonna listen to this just one layer at a time so you can kind of hear how everything fits together. Once you're done at this point, you can um, you can just save it. Might be good to just listen to it first though to, to hear what it's gonna sound like. So this is first my chord progression. my melody also. And here's with my ostinato. you might want to even change the tempo uh, or leave it as it is maybe you like that exactly right I'm curious what this would sound like at more like 160 Let's see what that would sound like so you know it's kind of glitching again but it, it really changes the sound a lot when you change the tempo so it's something you should be adjusting to kind of get the right feel maybe try it a little slower we're still kind of moving along here a little bit more yeah cool i'll take that so uh once you're at that point you can just press save um if you made a copy of the project to to do this you would need to share that with me if you've just been working in the same uh chord progression transpose example or project you can just press save i'll automatically get a copy and that's how you do the ostinato projects all right, so hopefully uh, these are making sense. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.